everyone and welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube for the intuitive eating series. So today we are talking about principle number six, discovering the satisfaction factor. Okay, well here in America we definitely struggle with this principle and that's because the satisfaction factor comes down to enjoying your food, really taking in the experience, not just scarfing it down, which I feel like here in America it's all about busy, getting to the next thing on our to-do list, so food and our meal time is just something to get done and get done quickly. And I'm guilty of this. I eat really quickly a lot of the times. I'm usually on the go. So a lot of times I'm snacking on, like not even sitting down as I eat. And all of that can just lead to overeating or undereating in some circumstances and just not listening to your body. So intuitive eating, principle number six, discovering the satisfaction factor. How can we do this? And it's all about sitting down, enjoying the food and the flavors that you're eating. Be in an environment that is just enjoyable when you're eating and that's soothing and relaxing. I know in the intuitive eating book, it talks about how the Japanese are great about this. They take in the eating experience and make it an experience and not just something to get done. Whereas here in America, it's all about the rush, about how quick can we do it. And that just leads to not giving yourself time to listen to your body or to your hunger cues. And this kind of goes with the last principle from last week, which is knowing your fullness level and honoring your fullness. And so you can't honor your fullness and know that you're full if you're not giving your body time to process that as you eat. Just slowing it down and just enjoying the whole process, enjoying the whole experience and having meal times like with your family and friends versus just scarfing things down in your 10, five minutes that you have a break. I know for me, I used to eat so quickly that my mom would tell me, that I had to eat with my left hand, and that definitely slowed me down. So there's a fun tip to try every once in a while to slow you down, is to switch your fork to the hand that you're not used to using, and for me that's my left hand, and sometimes the food goes everywhere because I'm really just not talented with my left hand, clearly. But anyways, there are some tips for you. I wanna hear how last week went with you with honoring your fullness and any questions on anything about intuitive eating, comment below, and of course, click the thumbs up if you like this video. So until next time, subscribe to my channel. As you can see, I've been interning with the Twins Dietitian, if you've been seeing on Instagram and Snapchat, Sarah underscore Grace 11, or Instagram, Freshman Healthy. So if you guys have been seeing that, I will make a video on kind of my experience. So yeah, comment below any questions you may have for me in the nutrition field, in the intuitive eating world, anything. So until next time, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. Bye guys.